For the first question, the first step in the UC Santa Cruz prediction strategy, after they'd gathered the data, was to perform delay cord embedding of the data. It should be noted that they also used several other prediction strategies, but the one we're referring to here used delay cord embedding as the first pre-processing step of the data. For question two, a neural net-based method worked better than a nonlinear dynamics-based method on SFI dataset A in the long term, and this is false. While Wan's method, which is the neural net method, worked great in the short term, Tim Sauer's nonlinear dynamics-based method did far better in the long term. So this question is false. The third question is simply, how does Lorenz's method of analogs work? And this is near neighbor prediction on the trajectory of a dynamical system. So given a known trajectory of a dynamical system and a point in that state space, it looks for the point's nearest neighbor in the known trajectory, then uses the next point in the trajectory as the forecast of where that point will go next. So this first answer is correct. The third answer is a simple modification of Lorenz method of analogs using k nearest neighbors. However, the original Lorenz method of analogs used one neighbor. So the first answer is correct.